morning students i am dr vijay bandari associate professor in sids csc department so now we are going to perform today experiment number 4 the name of the program is to find out the results of this entry regression using pattern so now we are going to then this practical now we will discuss what is a decision tree okay, so a tree has many analogies in real life and turns out that it has influenced a wide area of machine learning summary covering both classification and regression in decisions analysis a decision tree can be used to visualize visually and explicit represent decisions and decision making as the name goes it uses a tree like model of decisions so are common used to is in a data mining for deriving a strategy to reach a particular goal that's also widely used in machine learning so a decision tree is a graphical representation of all the possible solutions to a decision based on a few conditions now decision tree are a type of supervised machine learning that is you explain what the input is and what the corresponding output in the training data where the data is continuously split according to a certain parameters now the decision tree algorithms fails under the category of unsupervised learning they can be used to solve both regression and classification problems next is decision trees uses a tree representation to solve the problem in which each leaf node corresponds to a class level and attributes are represented on the internal node of the tree thirdly we can say it represents any boolean functions on the state attributes using the decision tree so now we go to the implementation part this is a string regression so we open this uh, sublime text editor and uh, importing the libraries so importing numpy as np import math plots by plot as plt okay, and uh, import pandas as pd so in the first cell we are importing necessary libraries like pandas to give structure over data numpy to perform mathematical and other relevant operations and matplotlib to create charts now in now in move into next cells importing the data sets so data sets is called to pd dot read read and as for csv position cell list so this is a our data sets is uh, downloaded from the uci website so this is the data sets okay and uh, now we move to our implementation score here <clears throat> the index value is start from 0 in pattern 4 okay so index value is mentioned here as we already know index in pattern starts from 0 that's why the height column is depicted as depicted by the index value 1 so x is the data set dot i log values and y is to the data set i log column comma 2 values now we move next into next uh, cells is splitting the data sets into the training sets and test sets so here we use the class decision tree regression from the sqlearn dot tree and we are creating our objects regression from the decision tree regression and the mistake is going to zero so we are using this regression dot put method dot y on x comma y series and y x x x is in y so now predicting a new results y underscore predict is a uh, we are putting about objects y underscore predictions and regression dot predict now we visualize the decision tree regression students in next cell so we are putting the plots here plt dot scatter x comma y comma color is red plt dot plot x square regression dot predict this is a method to apply on data sets and we can use by the people now we are uh, renaming the titles to third left left decision tree regression as well as positions level and salaries 
So one uh, condition one and three is only one so this is the other course of this institute lessons. So is that clear to all? Okay, so now we run this code and get the results. So this is the code or plug this is to reject regression. So as we discuss on here, this has many analogies in real life and turns out that it has influenced a wide area of machine learning and covering both classifications and regressions. So you can see here the regression lines. It has a perpendicular just to the higher peak of the point. Okay, so this is the position level, it is universe X level, and cell is in one by X. So when the position level increases, so it increases cell increases. Okay. So this is the results which I have I have done here. So if any doubt comes, so please ask me. Thanks. Nice